All right, Mike here, a quick review. Again, I'm doing this because I think the software is awesome and it's open source and the paid one is super, super affordable. And I talked to the developer in a quick email and he's he's great. So I just wanna, I wanna give a shout out because I don't think enough people know about this. So monicahq.com or just Monica, it's an open source personal CRM. So some of you that might know me, I try my best to remember birthdays and special dates of, of friends and, and, uh, and other people in my life. So I've gone through this since the 90s. I had Yahoo contacts. I had Google contacts. Then I upgraded to like a paid SaaS. I, won't, I don't want to like shame them, but for like four or five years, I was paying a pretty high monthly fee. And I would f always update uh, dates, birthdays, and everything inside of it. And... I wanted to export it to an Excel because I wanted to kind of like prepare more in advance. I couldn't find a way to give me a reminder sooner than one day before. Like the software just reminded something the day before. So they didn't have a way for me to do that. I couldn't connect it to any other, you know, Zapiers. I couldn't connect it to anything. I couldn't get the date out. And I even support requests. And they said, sorry, this is not a contact detail. This is a, a reminder. It's not part of that database. So we cannot give that in the exports. And they said, sorry, well, there's not enough people asking for this feature and we can't give you this. I'm like, it's my data. I spent years putting all this data, but they didn't seem to care. And uh, it was my data. So I had to have somebody on my team. I paid them a special project to just uh, go through and one by one through thousands of contacts, get the dates out of it. And then I found this software I was searching for called Monica. So again, the point is, there's a saying, if you are not the paying, then you're the product, especially on Facebook or Google, you are the product. So, you know, I guess they give you, I think they were forced to let you export the data, but when you export the data, it's uh, usually not enough data. It's not in the format you want. They don't really care, all right? They're not like helping you export the data from their platforms. I think they're just forced to and they give you like the worst way they can. Like I tried to export the birthdays and contact details of my friends in Facebook and it just gave me an HTML file um, of a list of just name, first and last name. And it was just a list in HTML, like a web page. It just listed their names. It didn't give me their birthdays or emails or contacts, nothing. So you have to own your own data. Whether you use this Monica, which you know I use and I recommend, or you use another one, um, I think you should pay for your relationship management, you know, and hopefully that one that lets you export the data because it's your data, especially if you're paying. I kind of was still shocked. Anyway, let's go to this product. Sorry for the rant, but that's why you should do it. I know a lot of you say, oh, I don't care. I just have Facebook. I just go to my Facebook friends. I see the birthday reminder. I send them a message on Facebook. I don't know. I used MySpace, okay? I don't even think my MySpace profile is there anymore. I don't even know how to find my MySpace contacts, you know? I don't think it's there. I looked once and it was like a, a music blog. I, I, I couldn't find anything. So I, I, I nothing personal against Facebook, but do you think they're going to really make it their priority to help you get all those contacts out cleanly into a new the new Facebook when that comes out? I don't think so. So you got to spend time and own your own data. So I use this tool. I searched Google and I found it in like a review blog and it was kind of like buried as like a last option because these guys don't, there's just one or maybe two developers um, that make this and it's actually either free or a very small fee. So open source means you could download this on your own server and install it, which is what we did because I have an amazing team and I'm so blessed with a great team. Uh, and I also have servers because we do a lot of website uh, marketing already so if if you're not that level yet uh you could just pay the small not as of december 2020 i think it's too cheap <laughs> nine dollars a month or ninety dollars us per year uh no contract no fees and um basically it's pretty straightforward okay <laughs> but so you could also just click this github link and uh either you do it or you give it to your developer uh if you have a team or uh, and then install it on your own server, just like a WordPress blog would be or something uh, like that. Okay, so that's it. So let me just show you how I use it. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to blank out some of my, of course, personal information. So it's my friend Lucien's birthday. I uh, got a reminder and I, um, I able to send him a message on WhatsApp, right? I, any platform I'd, I want to. Um, I have, you know, I have his birthday, I have tags, I have his course contact information, his photo I added manually, 
I think I took it from his Facebook page. I can have notes about the person. I can have conversations I had with this person, more contact information. Basically, it's like a contact database, right? The dashboard, which is here. It's pretty s smooth interface, right? And, uh, you know, you can see if you don't have a photo, it'll just show you the letters. Or I think it tries to get avatar, but a lot of people I don't think use that. It shows me upcoming events, which are for me mostly birthdays. And it does it way in advance. See, this is pretty awesome. It goes two or three months in advance. So I can prepare for birthdays in advance. Also deaths. My aunt died February 14th. It's like, you know, it's, or anniversaries. Or I try to remember, you know, remember my uh, friend's children's events, birthdays. You can have recent calls your favorite notes, you can keep track of debt that you owe people, uh, you can have tasks, this is the main one I use, so similar, to, different than a reminder, it's like to remember to follow up with somebody about something specific. Um, it's tough to see this because I don't want to show you my personal contact information, I think you understand, but it's very lightweight, I feel, and very simple and straightforward, and it's what I need to just remember there, remember what I, you know, some of course, I don't stalk them with every single detail, but I try to put milestones when I talk to certain people. I think it's really important, you know, birthdays. I try to remember people's birthdays if I can, if I know it. Uh, you know, if I borrow money or if they borrow money from me, I keep it in here on a personal level. You know, it's meant. this is, again, meant for personal use. You could, of course, use this for business use, um, but it's there is multiple users. They also have a journal, like a diary. I don't use that. Um, but basically, it's this dashboard and this contacts and a contact details page for each person. Um, I recommend it. You know, give the guy making this some money. You know, pay to nine dollars a month. I don't get a commission. I, I I did this on my own will. I asked him in advance. He says, of course, um, if I could help promote, he would appreciate it. But it, I mean, I think uh, developers, you know, like this are amazing and we need to we need to support these kind of people. And again, if you don't pay for something, then you are the product. Right. Oh, I guess. He, but he's so awesome. He even lets you do it for free. But he doesn't pay anything because you're paying the server and update yourself. So um, I'd love to know what you think. Uh, it seems like he's making some new products, too. And I really support them. Thank you. Thank you for making this. Thank you for Monica. It's been great. I've been using it about a half a year right now. And uh it's changed the way I keep track with my friends. Thank you.